Hello everyone and welcome to the COP Council. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. If you are, then please let me know in the comment section down below. As you can hopefully tell by the thumbnail and the title, we've got two stories for you today to be talking about on this video. And the first um, is about Pedro Crelavela. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. He is set to be leaving Liverpool on a free transfer and we will bring all the details uh, for you guys about that situation. And also as well, we'll be talking about Liverpool reopening opening Melwood um, for the players and the staff of Liverpool Football Club but of course if you could do me the massive favour and please like this video it would be massively appreciated if you could do so guys and also as well if you could share out the channel as well and share out this video as well it would also be massively appreciated if you could do that uh, for me uh, it would be a nice like, a little like uh, present for me so yeah if you could do that and also as well if you're new to this channel and then uh, a new person looking at this channel then please hit that subscribe button because it would be massively appreciated if you could do so and hopefully you guys like the video as well if you are new around here but yeah if you could hit that subscribe button of course we're trying to get to 300 subscribers which would be you know absolutely fantastic and yeah hopefully you uh, guys enjoy this video but let's move on then to our first story and that is about Pedro Crela Vela now the Spanish international has been rumored to be leaving Liverpool now I'm recording this on the Saturday. You guys will see this on the Sunday. So of time of recording, it was about three o'clock in the afternoon um, on, on Saturday that it was getting reported that Pedro Calavela has agreed to join Nats or Nates. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I could be absolutely wrong with that. So please correct me in the comment section down below. But yeah, Pedro Crelavela has apparently agreed a three-year contract with them um, and joining the league own side, I believe. So, you know, big, big news then you could say because... Of course, there was the whole rumours of him, you know, potentially signing a new contract after his reemergence and well, reemergence, then you could say, uh, under Jurgen Klopp this season. Of course, you know he's been, you know, fantastic in the cup games, you know, League Cup games and FA Cup games, respectively. And you know, apparently as well, he's been, um, you know, great behind the scenes as well. So you know, a real character. Then I think you could really say about that. But um, of course, you know, his contract situation was up um, at the end of this season. Well, this current season. Um, of course, that is still to be undetermined whether or not this season is still going to be this season. But yeah, of course, you know, let me know your guys' thoughts on that in the comment section, but down below. But yes, of course, according to some French reports, anyway, that uh, Pedro Crelavela is set to leave Liverpool and join Nats at the end of the of this season. There was some other reports saying that he was meant to be joining on Monday, which I've been told has been false. Well, are false, and yeah, he will be at the end of the season. But it does look like he will be leaving. Uh, Liverpool at the end of this season now also as well it has been rumored that uh, Nates or Nats has been um, has offered him a three-year contract uh, to join their club now of course Pedro Crelavela has only made 11 appearances for Liverpool since joining them in 2013 yeah it seems very very weird that you know he seems like he's been around forever and he's still only 22 years of age he's only two years older than me which makes me feel old like because he seems like he's been around forever and always been in Liverpool squad so you know guys let me know your guys thoughts on this as well I know I've been spoke, uh, speaking to Doug uh, from the Dugout Football Channel and you know he's um, quite upset about this you know I think he really wanted um, him to stay at Liverpool you know for me personally you know I think he's not gonna get into Jurgen Klopp's starting team then you could say because of course you know Jurgen Klopp's gone with Jordan Henderson in, in the replacement for Fabinho and things like that and he would also use like Genie Wijnaldum and he's even used Adam Lallana uh, this season in spite of Fabinho and Henderson not playing in that sixth role but of course you know like I said Pedro Crelavela he has you know been very very good in the cup games you know the game against uh, MK Dons earlier on this season I thought he, I think it was pretty much a man of the match performance uh, from him in that game the Everton game at home you know fantastic you know with Curtis Jones and the other young lads also as well you know playing I think he played in the Shrewsbury game as well I 
think do correct me if i am wrong with that i think he had also a good game there so you know he's had some very good um game time this season in terms of the cups and that but you know i think he wants first team football and to be fair he deserves first team football you know at the end of the day like i said his appearances so far this season he's been pretty much decent and of course he probably wants to go and challenge himself now in another league and you know try and get up to you know first team standards then and trying to get his you know career on starting because let's be honest he's not going to be you know in the starting lineup for Liverpool like I've just said you know you got the likes of Fabinho, Henderson, Gino Wijnaldum, Adam Lallana even though Lallana is leaving at the end of the season as well it looks like so you know guys please let me know in the comment section down below as well are you happy with this with this situation um do you think liverpool need to sign a replacement for him and other things like that but please let me know your guys thoughts in the comment section down below because i do really want to hear uh, your guys opinions uh, in the comment section down below but moving on then to our next and last story then uh, of the video and that is of course liverpool reopening melwood now of course like i said i'm recording this on the saturday before the sunday uh, that you guys are seeing it and uh, on Sunday Boris Johnson is you know meant to be addressing uh, the UK uh, situation of course Scotland have already said that they're extending their lockdown uh, for three weeks I believe Wales as well the Welsh First Minister has also said that uh, the lockdown is going to be extended so th I think they all have pretty much an idea of what's happening but Liverpool have reopened Melwood uh, anyway and of course ahead of like whenever the Premier League is going to return now other teams like Arsenal and I believe Aston Villa as well I could be wrong with the Aston Villa part but I believe it was like a, a bottom club like that have also like come back to training I know Spurs have as well they've started to you know reopen their facilities and that but yes of course Liverpool have reopened Melwood they haven't opened it fully though they have partially opened it um to the players and the staff now according to i believe the daily mail and you know other reports as well that only three players at a time are allowed in melwood so they're like you know for example you know Alison Becker, Virgil van Dijk and Trent Alexander-Arnold, you know, them three at a time. And I believe they're allowed in there for an hour, I believe. So, you know, of course, they'd probably have rehab session, maybe a training session for an hour or everything like that. And then they will leave and then another three then will come in then to, you know, uh, you know, uh, train, resilitate, you know, whatever they have to do realistically. Of course, they've been set, you know, their own tasks at home and fitness. Of course, you guys have seen uh, the like fitness videos and like the um, team meeting uh, videos on YouTube and everything like that so you know it's kind of good in a sense that they are reopening this but of course you know guys please stay indoors and you know uh, follow the guidelines of your country because I know there are different viewers like Americans in here that there's I believe there's some um, you know Japan uh, people watching this as well so hello uh, but yeah of course you know different guidelines for different people so please follow the guidelines of your country or state or whatever um but yeah liverpool in terms of that you know it's a sign in the right direction of course the bundesliga is coming back a week from today as i'm recording so you know that should be good news but of course you know things can happen and yeah it's apparently as well you know german cases have risen uh, over the last couple of days so that's not good news but hopefully you know the football can return safely and if it doesn't then you know what does that mean then for liverpool and winning the title of course at time of recording this as well liverpool should have been lifting the Premier League trophy today which is you know so so unfortunate and yeah it's just a real sad thing that Liverpool won't be able to do it for a while but number number 19 is coming home baby and you better believe that for sure but of course guys let me know your guys thoughts and opinions on you know all the stories that I've brought to you tonight or today or whenever you're watching this and yeah if you could uh you know let me know in the comment section as well your thoughts and opinions on the stories that I have said today then it would be massively appreciated but uh yeah I think that's all the stories i have got for you today guys uh, of course if you could do me the massive favor and please like this video would be massively appreciated if you could do so also like i said at the beginning of the video then please share out this video and share out the channel as well guys because it would be massively appreciated and also as well if you are new around here then please hit that subscribe button please get us to 300 subscribers i'm trying guys i'm trying of course i've been away for a couple of days uh, off youtube you know today now um i've been doing to, to be fair isolation has had me doing you know more di uh, diy diy work outside i've been cutting and cleaning up my garden 
garden today so yeah it's been keeping me a bit active to be fair but uh let me know as well how you lot are coping with isolation as well in the comment section down below but until next time guys that's gonna be it from me hopefully all of you are having a fantastic day i've been connor from the cop council and that was football <laughs> see you guys later Ta -ra.